Hello everyone. First of all, on behalf of Data Trend, I wish you all a very happy new year. May this year brings a lot of joy, success, and good health for all of us. We welcome you to I Am Data Trend series, where we are going to have a conversation with one of our alumni. His name is Prince, and he did a data science course in our institute, of Data Trend. In data science course, we do train candidates on Python, SQL, machine learning, deep learning, NumPy, Pandas, NLP, and many more. So without wasting the time, let's get into the conversation with the Prince. Hello, Prince. Welcome to I Am Data Train Series, and thanks for taking time and joining us. Uh, Prince, uh, uh, let's start uh, our conversation starting from your introduction. So can you please uh, briefly introduce yourself starting from your schooling or graduation, if you are working what uh, and all, right? So you are past basically. So could you please uh, you know, elaborate on that part? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I did my schooling from DAV Central Republic School and I passed out from my schooling uh, like in 2016. Then I did for my graduation uh, from MIT University in BSc Honors in Mathematics. Mm -hmm. And then completely after my uh, graduation, I have gone for my post-graduation, which is under master's in statistics. So although during my post-graduation, I joined data train in 2020, uh, uh, beginning of 2020, then I have pursued a PG diploma in data science and machine learning course in data trained. Thereafter, I got an internship opportunity in data trained after like four months. There was a six months internship and uh, given for me. It was in flip robot technologies, which was a work from home opportunity for me. Then after completing the internship opportunity, later on, after some months, I was given uh, as opportunity in tech stories where I interviewed tech stories. And I recently have joined in like September 2021 in uh, tech stories with the help of data trained. So yes, that is all uh, about I have. Thank you, thank you for that introduction, uh, Prince. So let's uh, let's try to understand uh, basically uh, what made you to jump into this uh, field actually. So what made you to show interest in the data science field? Yes, sir. Basically, coming from uh, my mathematics background and my graduation, I want to go for. Uh, career where I can work on data. I can basically use different, different tools, emerging tools like uh, in data science, we use new tools like Python, SQL. These are the tools like I, being from my childhood, I was very tech savvy. So I want to go into these statistics tools or like these tools. So I basically search a lot and find out, yes, data science is a very emerging field. And in this field, I can emerge myself. I can enhance my skills. So that made me uh, basically possible to go for this uh, career opportunity. Great, great. So can you talk a little bit about uh, tech stories? Uh, we know a little bit about it, but we want our uh, viewers to know if it is allowed to talk about, you can please uh, give a brief introduction about uh, you know, uh, yes, tech sir. stories. Yes, sir. On a brief introduction about tech stories, it is basically a, a tech company where this company works on giving training to new, new technologies, to new, new trainers. Mm -hmm. Basically, this company works on giving training technology like uh, on different, different new mm -hmm. technologies like blockchain or like cloud computing or data science. These, uh, it is a tech company basically, which is giving training to all the, like say who wants to switch their career or who wants to pursue new technologies. So mm -hmm. that is uh, a company we have. Okay. So how is the work culture there? <clears throat> yes, sir. So being uh, talking about the work culture, work culture is very, very fine. Mm -hmm. Our managers, our team leaders, or if I talk about my uh, co-employees also, they are mm -hmm. also uh, very, very fine. And mm -hmm. yes, the work culture is very, very good. Okay. So let's talk about the uh, interview process. So how many rounds you had to go through to get into that role? Yes, sir. Particularly, if I talk about, there were three rounds. They were mm -hmm. first, uh, as I can talk about like uh, my resume uh, shortlist uh, selection, it was there. So after my resume got shortlisted uh, listed in tech stories, I went for a, a technical round for uh, one of uh, the employee in, uh, tech stories. Then the third, uh, second interview was there, which we call it as third round. It was uh, with our HR where mm -hmm. they want to know about, uh, they explained me about the bond period and all of the stuffs, which uh, I should know uh, before joining tech stories. 
So, uh, can you uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, interview questions, if you are able to remember those questions? So, few questions. Yes, sir. Few, yeah. Uh, yes, talking about uh, my first round, which was my technical round, uh, mm -hmm. there I was asked some questions about cloud computing, mm -hmm. uh, some questions about Python and uh, like questions on data science only. Mm -hmm. And if I uh, talk about the second interview round, there I was asked about my like, uh, uh, basically my communication skills or like uh, my approach to new problems or problem solving things or critical thinking, that kind of questions being asked. So yes. That was the questions uh, uh, that was asked in the round one and round two of interviews. Okay, so during this course of uh, interview, right? So you said there are a few rounds. So have you ever uh, realized that what exactly the interview is the interviewer looking from you? Yes, sir. Basically, they were looking for mostly my approach for like critical thinking or problem solving. Secondly, I what I found is uh, my communication skills because mm -hmm. moreover, if I talk about my position, it mm -hmm. is uh, associate engineering field, associate mm -hmm. uh, engineer. There mm -hmm. we have to work on projects of data science as well. We have to give trainings to some employees also. So that is a kind of field we have where we require some problem solving skills, our data science skills, our tools skills and our communication skills too. So yes, that was the things. Great, great. So let's understand your uh, learning strategy and uh, preparing yourself in order to approach uh, the interview and things like that. So what was your uh, learning strategy when you are uh, going through this 11 months PG program? So how did you manage things? So exactly want to know what exactly, how you prepared yourself? Yes, sir. On preparing myself, sir, I was uh, pursuing my master's in statistics at the time when I was going for my uh, PG diploma course. Mm -hmm. So. I was doing statistics, so I was learning most of the things in my college also. It was helping me on that also. Likewise, if I talk about data science, particularly statistics is very, very important for this thing. Mm -hmm. So yes, I was doing and it was helping me a lot for that. So time management was very, very helpful for me because uh, I was a student at that time. Like I was, I have a college from Monday to Friday and Saturday to Sunday was my classes. Wow. So mm -hmm. time management was uh, very, very fine for me also. Mm -hmm. Second thing, what I was learning in college what i was learning in data train i see both of the things similar similar kind of thing in, if i talk generally about statistics so yes uh, my revision was also there at that point of time if mm -hmm. i talk about and secondly yes the preparation was going well or if i talk about as a student it was easy for me really really great to hear that uh, uh, you have enrolled this course uh, when you are in the last final year of your uh, academics so and uh, you are managing both your academics as well as this course i would uh, really say that it's uh, commendable and you are able to manage and making a strategy strategy and uh, getting a job in a very less period of time really uh, it's appreciated uh, good job there thank you sir thank All you right. sir. so uh, before uh, joining the tech stories uh, have you given any interviews in any other companies? Yes, sir. Data Train provide me uh, some more interviews in uh, other companies too. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I personally basically was searching a job at that time for data mm -hmm. science field. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I uh, basically tried my own also and Data Train also tried me to uh, like uh, pursue some uh, interviews for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I given some interviews before that also. All right. So I'm sure uh, during the course of your PG program, you would have gone through this mock interview from data trade. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. So what do you think uh, those mock interviews helped you to achieve your goal or what do you think about it? Yes, sir. They helped me a lot uh, because in mock interviews, I found out where I am lacking for. The first thing, second thing that I need to work more on my communication skills as well as my presentation skills as well. Third thing, what I found out uh, when the mock interviews was going on that yes, I need to enhance my skills more. I mm -hmm. need to deep dive into some of the topics which I am lacking on. So yes, mm -hmm. it helped me a lot. All right, okay. So tell me one thing that yes, everyone goes through this uh, PG uh, course or whatever the training phase. So when you are going through this phase, like uh, this PG program, so have you ever realized later point of a time that, okay, during learning, I have made a lot of mistakes. I should have not done that. Have you realized uh, uh, this kind of a mistakes in the later point that you should have not done that? 
basically sir what the only mistake i basically realized that uh, i made during my learning was not diving into the concepts mm -hmm. basically at that time i just focused on my coding skills because i was lacking behind in my coding from starting mm -hmm. so i focused more about the coding part instead mm -hmm. of like diving dive into a like topic because we need to have a thorough knowledge if we mm -hmm. want to go into the data science part mm -hmm. so yes uh, that was uh, i can say disadvantage i faced at that mm -hmm. point of time okay so great so since uh, your story is very interesting i personally feel it because uh, parallel you were managing uh, both the things right so i personally would like to hear your advice to those students uh, where uh, students are coming from different background and uh, especially those students who are currently studying in their final year and uh, uh, taking up this course what kind of advice you would like to give for them the only advice is like sir, most of the persons who are coming new to the field or the students who want to pursue data science have mm -hmm. only one question is in common if mm -hmm. i like if i what i have seen is mm -hmm. one question is very very common that they should they know uh, or they do have a prior knowledge about uh, any programming language or mathematics or statistics mm -hmm. so what i personally want to answer them all and want to know them all is that no programming language knowledge in prior is important as well as the mathematics and statistics knowledge mm -hmm. because if you are new to data science that is very very completely fine because mm -hmm. We are learning from scratch in data science. We are learning Python in, from scratch. Secondly, statistics and mathematics are also we are going to do in data science. So if you have only basically no knowledge of statistics at all, that is no problem at all. And if you are coming from any commerce field or any arts field, if I talk about for students generally, or for employees who are coming from different, different fields, it does not matter at all because we are learning all the things from scratch if we talk about the programming language or either if we talk about the statistics part yes right so i'm sure uh, when you are before enrolling uh, to this program you would have i'm sure most of uh, students uh, do inquire in other institutes and all so if you know that uh, if you know about other institutes and all so do you think it is there any difference between data trained and uh, other uh, institutes if you have heard about and all so could you make out some differences uh, between others and the data trained exactly sir so when i enrolled for uh, data science in uh, data trained uh, especially there was a very less corona thing at that point of time right. so there was uh, like in class uh, they were there they were no uh, like yes uh, there was opportunity to take uh, online class also but i generally pursued for in class mm -hmm. so uh, physical class uh, i want to go for so yes uh, that was the common thing uh, not the common thing i found between all the institutes because most mm -hmm. of the institutes were taking only the online classes like if i talk about some other institutes like upgrade and uh, all we have mm -hmm. they like we can find that they are only providing the online classes but mm -hmm. here in the data trained i found the physical class uh, overview here there Mm -hmm. Also, like uh, second thing, if I talk about uh, this thing is like there was a coordination. Like uh, we have a twenty four seven support. If I talk about all the queries, if we do have a queries, or we do get our LMS portal. Like we were getting all the codes there. We were getting all our recorded classes as well. Like mm -hmm. if we want to, if we are lacking someone behind, we can go through the topic at the time. Or mm -hmm. if we have missed the class, we can go through the video recording as well. So that is a kind of thing. I find. Great. So I think you, your batch was a little old. So now the things have been uh, a lot more improved, uh, if you have heard of it. So we have improved a lot. All right. Just for your information. Okay. All right. So uh, let me ask this question. So what do you feel about the coordination of data trained and tech stories uh, with you during this whole uh, selection process? So if I personally talk about the coordination process, they uh, when I just completed my internship, then at the time of the internship also, they started providing me the interviews, like uh, they started providing me uh, like the placement assistant as well. And mm -hmm. till I have placed, they uh, given me different, different placement offers, like and placement assistants too. And mm -hmm. finally, uh, data trained only helped me to get into the uh, job into the data science field. And I am very thankful for that also. Right. So uh, finally, uh, we would like to know 
in general. So I'm not taking a non-tech or a technical fresher or experienced. So overall, what kind of advice you would like to give to those uh, students or the candidates if they're working, right? So what kind of advice you would like to give who want to pursue their career in the data science? Yes, the first advice I will like to give uh, as I have been like, learned data science for more than two years now. So the first advice I would like to give is that uh, we need to have the concept knowledge first, like we need to dive into the topics of data science because that is, that is, that is not a field that we have learned something or we want to work something different, no. What we have learned, we are going to implement these all the things. So that is the first advice I would like to give. And second thing is like learning on more and more skills because data science is a very emerging field. If I talk about, see a uh, new, new technologies are coming day by day. If I talk about artificial intelligence, if I talk about new, new skills are coming like NLP, if I talk about uh, 10 years before NLP, I think no one has heard of NLP or artificial intelligence only if I talk about, but yes, nowadays, everywhere data science and artificial intelligence is going to use basically if we watch a tv if we watch youtube or if we surf on internet we get different recommendations and all the stuff we get like even if we use mobile phones it based on like data science only artificial intelligence only so yes we can assume that 24 7 we are using the things based on this uh, data science and uh, ai only mm -hmm. so more and more uh, basically concepts are popping out and new learnings are required so yes we need to brush up our things and like we need to enhance our skills uh, day by day in that field great so and uh, yes uh, thanks a lot prince uh, we are really glad to have you with us today for this session right so it was really an amazing session i hope uh, this session will be beneficial for the aspiring candidates of data science course and uh, trust many will get inspired by you through today's uh, session and uh, to the viewers, uh, audience and our alumni, uh, wishing you all a very happy new year. May this new year brings new goals, happiness and uh, new blessings. Thank you Same everyone time. and uh, thanks for your time, uh, Prince. Thank you, sir. Same to you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay.